no GPU backplate, no problem. All you're gonna need is a piece of Perspex. I've already cut this to size. I'll show you the method in a second. And obviously your GPU without a backplate. It's gonna be a very low effort video. I'm just chucking it out there quickly, vlog style. Maybe spend five minutes editing it, but hopefully it'll help someone. Also, for anyone uh, concerned about heat or cooling their device, perhaps this isn't the mod for you. Um, this is just something quick and dirty to cover up the back of the PCB on a card that doesn't run too hot as cheaply as possible. Um, you can get metal back plates if that's your thing, and I completely understand that. You know, I've got my water cooled rigs over there and so on, but these cards are running cool enough. I'm just concerned that I'm going to break them. So, yeah. Of acrylic, perspex, whatever you want to call it, are available on eBay for less than five dollars, five pounds, whatever. You take your GPU, you take a piece of paper, you put the piece of paper down on the table, you take your GPU, a bit hard to do one handed, you carefully, remembering it's got no back plate, so be careful, line up that edge with the bottom of the circuit board there and there I haven't done it very well because I'm trying to do it with one hand but then you take a pen focus and you draw along the top there then you cut out your template you then take your piece of perspex and you tape on it will have a protective coating over it but I've already done it you tape on your mask your template that you've just cut out so it can't slide anywhere and you find a flat edge and if you carefully measure where you want to cut and then put a piece of wood or a ruler or something on there make sure you do it on a table do not do it on your legs this is just for illustration and you get a razor blade and you score it repeatedly as many times as you can and then you flip it over and then again you very carefully measure this is why I said use a template so that you can move the template to the other side. Very carefully run the razor blade backwards and forwards. Put it on the edge of a table, maybe with a book, this end. Carefully push down on the book. And with the other hand, push down on the acrylic with it just ever so slightly hanging over the edge. You see? <clears throat> so that it's snapping beyond that point. Because this is the piece you want to keep. Make sure this is the piece you want to keep and this is the piece that you're snapping off. That way if this one won't shatter because it's covered, this one might shatter, but if you keep it pressure firm and try and push on the whole length of the thing, it should just shear nicely. Especially with smaller GPUs, if you can do it along the the uh, this this came in an A4 piece. So if you do it along the the shorter edge rather than trying to do the you know if you do it along this edge rather than the the long edge, far less likely to shatter. Of course, that does depend on the size of your GPU. But as long as you keep the piece you want to keep covered and pressure on it, it shouldn't shatter. Then you take the GPU carefully because it doesn't have a back plate and you look at how high these are <clears throat> or various other obstacles that it will need to clear and you decide if it's very high it might want a few layers of double sided uh, double sided 3M I think it's called 3M tape no, VHB tape anyway You'll find this stuff. It's not just tape, it's got a slight thickness to it. As you can see. And it's not a thermal pad, it's it's a sticky pad. Anyway, you build up a layer in a few places to make sure it's stuck on. I would try and avoid the back of the core and anything else that looks 
like it might get warm because obviously this is plastic but it's better than having a bare circuit board where if you drop a screwdriver or a screw or something on it you're gonna knock off a SMD and then you've got a dead GPU so I recommend this the worst part about this whole thing is snapping the acrylics not great but actually getting the edge off of these bits Well, that is hard with one hand. I don't know how Red Panda manages to, to, to build stuff like this. I suppose he clicks his fingers. Okay, well, I'm going to click my fingers. I've been picking at this one for quite a while, so it's not as easy as that. Right, so on this particular card, I need three layers, both sides, to clear these. On my 2070 Super, I only needed two layers. Um... I'll find the worst edge, which is the snapped edge, and I'll put that towards the socket, and I'll line it up. Difficult to do with one hand again, but I'll line it up with this bracket, like that, and then gently lower it down. <clears throat> there we go. Press it in place. On my 2070, I put one along the top, one along the side, and so on. I've only put one here and here on this particular card, but I think it's going to be okay. And oh, I've got a little bit of excess tape there, but actually it looks... The camera really doesn't do it justice, but I think it looks pretty good. I don't know why they couldn't just include a backplate on it, but... I have in the past damaged cards by dropping things on them, so... I feel it's worth doing. Perhaps it wouldn't look great from that angle, but from that angle and where I'm going to be using it in a mining rig, it looks fine. And it's just literally to protect my investment. You can get various colours, so there is options there. You could do it a bit more neatly. The main issue is the standoffs. Now, I suppose in theory, if you were to mark them, you could drill four holes or six holes, maybe, depending on how many standoffs you had. And then you could mount it flush with the board and you wouldn't see this stack of tape. That's an option for, for people who care a bit more. But I'm quite happy with it. So there you go. Just a little tip for people who hadn't considered this. Though I would like to point out, if you're drilling holes to allow the screws to poke through so that you can get this clearer, you would also have to take out a small notch. You would probably want to do that with a hacksaw. You would only have to do it if your PCIe power cable, um, the connection is on this side, but a lot of them are... Though my 2070 is the 2070 I did actually, and that looks pretty good. Um, but the the power plugs have connections on that way, so and it's a lot closer. In fact, I'd be a lot more happy with that in a system, looking at it that way, than I would with the RX 6600 XT. But it's it's. For me, it's more about having the, the circuits covered so that I can't just damage GPUs. So yeah, hope this was helpful to someone. Like, share, subscribe.